Welcome to my UL Monroe Dynasty, everyone. If you're new here, my name is Willie Wayne, and I've got an exciting game for y'all today between two of the Sun Belt's strongest teams. ULM is 6-2 heading into Week 10 versus Arkansas State. A lot of our success is coming off the back of our one-star running back, Ben Galloway. Last game, he had 290 yards against Sarah Hughes, and they are just having a terrible year, so it's no surprise that he dominated. We're not only seeing one, but two Heisman hopefuls today, Ben Galloway and QB Jalen Rayner for Arkansas State are both going to be looking to jump up in that list today with some big games. Rayner has a really good four-star receiver, but he is fourth in yards on the team, and he's not missed any time either. He's got eyes on him today. In fact, there are a couple of NFL scouts attending this game. Both teams have players that have gained some attention from the pros, which is always good for recruiting, especially as a zero-star team. I don't have any updates for recruiting in this video, but in case you missed it, we did get our first signing in the last episode. We got a three-star gym middle linebacker to replace a senior this defense is graduating. We're graduating a ton of starters and it's going to be looking a lot different next season. I don't think you'll want to miss it, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. I really appreciate the amount of likes I've been getting, letting me know you guys are enjoying this series. It means a ton to me, and I'm really enjoying playing with this team as well. And I hope you guys are slowly becoming Warhawk fans just like I am. Golobo's kick is fielded from the two, and he'll be brought down quickly at the 16. Jalen Rayners will hand this one off to his running back, a loss of five. Now on second down at 15, They'll pick up the first down and move the chains. Brought down by freshman Emmanuel Aconquo. This time, uh, Jaquez Ross will get a gain of three. They'll go back to him on this one. He's going to spin away from the defender. Now third down and five for the QB. Jalen Rayner, the Heisman hopeful. And he's going to get this to his star receiver. That's Malik Hornsby. Now handing it off to Jaquez, cross again on this one. Already carried the ball four times. Now on the jet sweep, they'll get it to Hornsby, and he's gonna get some blocks. And that would go for a touchdown, but the penalty will bring them back. Second down and 20, Rayner underneath. This will be caught. Corey Rucker will get a gain of 10. But another penalty brings it up a third down and 15. He'll get this one to cross on the screen and he'll be brought down quickly. So now the Warhawks will come out for their first possession of the game. Here comes Ben Galloway, the Heisman candidate. And he's going to get a good gain on the right side. First down, a run of 16 yards. Now he'll carry this one on first down and 10 for a second carry. He is already over 30 yards in this one. Last game or last season when we played them, he had one carry, one yard, and one touchdown. So I'd say he's off to a better start today. Last time we met, we lost in overtime 48 to 50. Third down and six. Booty looking left side for Tyler Griffin. The big six foot five receiver can't hang on. Not able to kick a field goal from here and don't want to punt, so we're going for it. Booty! Throws it at his lineman. He got hit on the throw. So it's a turnover on downs. Pressure up the middle from the Warhawks, but Rainer's pass still complete. Gain of eight, they'll hand it off to Cross, and he'll try to grind out the first down, but he won't. Now third down and one, Rainer. Right side, it's caught from a Crumbie, the tight end. He's gonna move the chains on that throw and catch. Now on first down, they hand it off to Cross. He's going to outrun Rodgers and get a block, sheds a tackle. And Cross is in the end zone. They'll get the first score of the day. Finally getting out of the negative yard stat for him. Galloway trying to let his blocks develop on this toss. And they won't, so it's second down and 10. And Booty's got a lot of pressure coming from that left side. Right now we have Junior left tackle Goodman playing there, but we're going to move Eric Fisher, our best offensive lineman. He's an 86 overall. We'll put him at left tackle now. And we run a screen to that left side on the first play with Fisher out there on that left side. And we get a first down on the center. Got a good block. And now Galloway's going to pick up another first down through the air on this play. 
So Hunter Smith will check in now for the first time today. His first carry will be a gain of three. Not too bad. But Galloway checks back in. He lets his blocks develop nicely on the right side. And he'll pick up a first down with his legs on the ground this time. Trying to get away from a few defenders there. He got met immediately. And he turned a net gain of zero into two on that one. But that time he'll only get zero. So it's third down and eight. Three receivers on the left side. Booty had pressure in his face and he had to throw it quicker than he wanted to. And that pass will be broken up. So out comes the true freshman kicker. The walk-on kicker's kick is no good. Deontay Welsh has only got like 74, 72 kick power between that range. And it showed right there. That kick was short. So we go into the second quarter still down by seven. Seven to zero is the score. And Rayner's got this ball trying to go up by two possessions. And he's going to find Malik Hornsby over the middle on the slant. They'll move the chains. Rogers in the backfield. The Warhawks sent some pressure. And he'll get the TFL. Now Rayner's pass on second down was a little bit out in front of his receiver. So it's third down and 13. Need a lot pick it, to pick up right here. Rayner's going to throw it behind the line to gain. And he will not be able to convert. McCrumbie tried his best though. He got 12 of the 13 that he needed. So they punted away. And we hand it off to Galloway on first down to move the chains and pick up another first down. From the 27. Booty under pressure immediately. He's going to take a shot down the field and almost get intercepted. Lucky that the Aubrey Hood couldn't pick that one off. So it's second down and 10. We're going to try this toss once more. And this time Galloway is going to get the outside using his speed. Making this third down shorter and a lot more manageable. Bringing the tight end. Ben Showall in motion to the left. We're going to run it that way. And Galloway runs over a man. Sit down, boy. Galloway's going to move the chains. And how about that for the Heisman candidate? Making plays like that, that's why he's on there. So second down and nine after a gain of one on first down. Booty's got a better pocket this time. Throwing behind Galloway. And if he had threw that in front of him, that could have been a lot more. Maybe even a touchdown. Trying to keep this ball in Galloway's hands. We run a screen. And he'll get a good gain of nine. Three receivers left. We run it up the middle with Galloway, and he's going to get the first down. Just grinding out a lot of first downs so far in this first half. Now this time, Griffin's going to catch and run with this one and get this first score for the Warhawks. We have tied this game up now. All leaving at seven. And Tyler Griffin's had a pretty quiet season this year compared to last. I thought he would be much more productive, but it's been Nine Nine Davis... Ben Galloway, and even Destin Hill. And in the last episode, Ernie Benchawal, the tight end, kind of broke out with 100 yards against Sarah Hughes. Now Golobo's kicking it off again, but this time it's going to be fumbled in the red zone. So now at the 16-yard line, we're knocking on the door trying to get another touchdown, and here goes Galloway. Moving us up to the three-yard line, but backing us up a little bit. We're at the six now on second down. Faking it to Hunter Smith, and this pass is going to be broken up. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. He was looking for Nana Davis. Now third down and goal. We hand it off to Galloway, who gets in the end zone. But Zach Moore is going to get called for a hold, so we back up to the 14. Now Booty rolling out to his left. He's going to motion his man to go upfield, and he gets in the end zone and scores it. What the playmaker, the fullback, Taven. Curry. He's a senior that he gets his first touchdown in this series. I, I think. I'm pretty sure that's his first touchdown. Definitely his first receiving. Second and ten. And Cross is going to lose two. He's been tackled in the backfield quite a few times today. He's getting a little upset with the defenders there. That's Billy Pullen. Or Bully Pullen as his, his adopted nickname. Now they'll move the chains up to the 26 after a gain of one on first down. It's second down and nine now. Underneath, he's going to find McCrumbie out running the safety on this play. That was a bit surprising. We have a speed advantage right there, but he was still able to get open. 
Now they'll do some option. And it looks like there's a flag on the play, and they're going to have to back it up. First and 20 for Rayner now. And he's going to look quickly underneath for Cross. He'll pick up a good little gain and take out that penalty. Second down and 10 now. We just hit the two-minute warning, and Rayner's going to take a shot on the left side for Hornsby. Got that one over Emanuela Conquo, the freshman. Now he's trying to hit McCrumby. And he was open. He just dropped it. He would have had a touchdown. Now he's going to throw in the end zone for Malik Hornsby. He'll hang on with the shore hands. And McCrumby, the tight end, was able to beat Fontroy, our senior safety, twice on that drive. So now with 96, 95 seconds to go in this half, it's second down and six. Booty's going to try to make something happen. Scrolling out to his right and throwing for Quad Harrison, but that throw was a little off target. It's third down and six now. Trying to make some adjustments at the line. He'll get this one underneath for Davis and move the chains. One minute and 15 seconds to go now at the 36. Got to show just a little bit of urgency. But they're going to get a quick little gain of one on the drag route to Ben Shawol. And now they're trying to sneak in a run play for Ben Galloway. It's been working all day. Arkansas State's defense really doesn't have an answer for him so far. But you know we got to pass it right now with just a minute to go. Over the middle for Davis. He's going to shed a tackle trying to speed out to the sidelines to get out of bounds. But here in college, the clock does stop until you get set. So now looking for Ben Shawol, he'll catch it. And ULM has to use their second tight end. Tied out. T time out. Goodness. Now Booty under pressure, and he's going to fumble it. And ULM is going to lose possession. No points before half for them. And now Jalen Rayner has the ball with 33 seconds. He's looking left side for McCrumby. And he's met by a host of Warhawk defenders. And, you, and the Arkansas State Wolves will use a timeout. Looking for McCrumby again on this play. And he'll get out of bounds. Rayner 15 for 18 so far. Stellar performance for him. Now looking right side, he's going to throw this one out of bounds. McCrumby was the only one in the area. Second down and 10. Looking underneath, this will be dropped. Corey Rucker not able to hang on to it. Just 14 seconds to go before half. And wide open is the freshman. He made a move. You saw that little joystick icon pop up. And the freshman, Nick Chambers, wearing number 22 at wide receiver, will get the score to put the Wolves up 21 to 14 at halftime. And that play by the freshman was so clean. Like, I, I want a player that has joystick because that move was so quick. He was able to cut on a dime and just put the safety on his foot. But now down by seven going into half, the Warhawks are going to have to make some adjustments. This is a really good play by Booty right here, extending the play. But down by seven, we start with possession. And we'll give it off to Galloway, who cuts up inside to get a gain of four. Did not think he was going to even get three on that one. Second down and six, and the I form will go back to him. Trying to follow his fullback, and did you see how much green was in front of him? That was a very, very lucky tackle by the Wolves. Back to Galloway, or third straight time. And he'll move the chains. First down and ten. Galloway's got some good blocking and a lot of room on the left side. He'll go out of bounds. That was his 20, 20th carry this game. Hunter Smith will check in for him and looking right side for Ben Shawal. He catches it. And we are all the way in the red zone already to start the second half. Now Booty's running some slants and scrambling out to his right. Tells the man to block for him. And he'll get all the way to the one on that scramble. Going to Galloway and he's in. The line held up for him, and he's going to hit that Heisman pose, trying to let them know. There's also a bunch of NFL scouts here. Well, not really a bunch. There's a couple. But he wants their eyes on him. He's a junior right now. Next season, he'll be a senior. And you know he wants to be on that Heisman list. Now, first down and 10, looking for Hornsby. The Rainers pass is knocked free. ULM looks like they want to send some heat on this play. And they do, but 
Rainer finds the open man. He's been really efficient on these blitzes so far. Hasn't really been exposed by pressure so far. Even on that play right there, he was almost sacked, but got it away just in time to Tyler Little, another tight end. And that was just impressive by the Heisman candidate. It's first down and 10 now from the 39. Going to cross, and there he is. There's Hamlin, the star defender on the D-line, this whole defense. And he is the player that has some eyes on him and for us. Scouts really like the way he's built and the way he plays. Reminds him, oh my goodness, the ball's on the ground and Josh McAfee will pick it up and he's gonna run all the way. That 97 speed won't be stopped. Jaquez Ross put the ball on the ground and the freshman McAfee able to find it and take it to the house and tie this game up. Or no, that puts us ahead, excuse me. Up 28 to seven now. Rayner finds McCrumbie to move the chains and he's fighting for some more yards. He's targeted McCrumbie a lot in this game so far. Still five minutes to go here in the third and down goes Rayner. Big bully pulling. I need to check and see how many sacks he's had so far this season. He's played pretty well for us. And the freshman will get a gain of 12. That's Nick Chambers. Third down and eight, and Rainer's pass is dropped. McCrombie drops another one. He dropped one in the end zone earlier. So now Booty has the possession on the third down and nine, looking for his tight end. And that was almost intercepted, so they have to punt it away. Now Rainer will keep this one on the option. He's going to run for a first down. Moving the chains with his legs. It's first down and 10. Here comes Jaquez Ross on the right side. And there's McAfee meeting him, bringing down the running back at the 47, just across the 50. Rayner looking left side. He finds the tight end, and he'll get a solid gain of five. Rayner's had a solid game. He's at 300 yards now. Cross brought down quickly. Loss of two. And Jaden Hamlin trying to show out for these scouts. Now, Rainer's having to scramble out to his left. Not really scramble, but roll out. Bull, big Bully Pullen was on his left side, applying the pressure. Booty hands this one off to Galloway, trying to follow his blockers for a gain of seven. In the I form now, we'll go back to Galloway. And he'll put us at third down in inches. So we bring out the QB sneak. You know if it's inches or a yard, I'm pulling that play out. And on third down and eight, a beautiful pass from Booty to Destin Hill, the transfer from Florida State. Now Galloway gonna run it on first down, up by seven here, five minutes to go in the fourth. So you know these are the types of games where you wanna lean on your best back. He's had a good day so far, but he's out of this play. But we have to sneak it and we'll get the conversion. Galloway's back out for this tight formation. And he will be stopped in the backfield. Something we haven't seen much of today. And that was his 30th carry. This is his 31st. And he's going to speed out to that left side, go out of bounds. Didn't really want to take too much contact. He is a bit banged up right now. We'll move the chains with Quad Harrison. But Galloway a bit shaken up. We don't want that. We want him healthy going into these last games of the season. And he's going to get a good run out to the right side, push a man off of him, and take some more contact. Got to sub him out now. Hunter Smith will check in. He's another senior. And instead of cutting back outside, he smartly cuts back in to chew some more clock. He could have had a touchdown right there, but a real team player trying to burn some clock. But we won't get to take it into the two-minute warning because Galloway dropped it on that one. He is really slow to get up there. So third down and two. Booty looking for the end zone, and Quad Harrison was wide open. 990 yards last season, just barely over 200 in this season, his final season. But he played better as a 50 overall. Not really better. We've had a freshman come in, and we have tried getting him the ball, spreading it out a bit. And we have. They both have about 500 together. But let's get back to this game. We got the two-minute warning. And down by 14, Rainer's got to make some magic happen and almost intercepted the freshman. Josh McAfee extending, trying to get that ball. But the other freshman receiver 
get a huge gain. And it's second down and six. Rainer, quick pass, dropped. McCrumby can't hang on to it. So it's third down and six. Just 90 seconds to go in this one. Over the middle, this one's caught. Nick Chambers moving the chains again. He's looking good for them. It might be the replacement for Malik Hornsby. First down and 10. Rainer got a good pocket. Finally broke down, and they find McCrumby for a small gain of five. Now, Rainer looking deep for Chambers, who's going to get another touchdown. So how about the freshman getting two touchdowns in this one? He'll make it a little bit closer. And down by seven, they got to try an onside kick. Only 58 seconds to go in two timeouts, but this kick is recovered by the Warhawks. Mike Hill will grab it and fall down on it. It's third down and eight for the Warhawks, though. And with no timeouts, the clock can't really stop, but they had to punt it away. Rainer's got this for one more play. Got to take a Hail Mary. He's got the blocks holding up, and it's going to run out. We sent the linebacker spy, Roger Saxon, and ends the game. And with that sack, ULM has now won six straight games and is looking like the favorites for the Sun Belt Championship with another win in conference to keep us undefeated at 5-0 in conference play. Our offense was clicking for most of this game, didn't have a ton of passing yards, but Galloway going over 200 yards in back-to-back -back games and Booty with three touchdowns, I mean, they are on a roll, I think. And Jalen Rayner played a good game too, but he just didn't have too much help on the ground and cross, fumbling. Our defense had 10 TFLs and two sacks. Like, we let up a ton of yards, but for the most part, the defense is able to make good plays and create a loss of yards and turnovers, which I really like to see. Our next opponent is Texas State. They defeated us last year, so this is going to be a revenge game for us. They're going to be getting their own episode, but then the last two games of the season versus Southern Miss and Marshall will be a doubleheader episode to go ahead and finish the regular season, and then we will hopefully be playing in a conference championship. Right now, I think Old Dominion is the favorites in our opposing division. They absolutely clobbered me last season, and I definitely would like a shot at them here with our senior class. As General Booty will be gone, our top two receivers gone, our best offensive lineman will also be gone, and then not to mention three starters on the D-line, three linebackers, and four to five defensive backs, and three of them are going to be our starters, and they're going to be gone. So this team is going to look a lot different next year. I'm very excited for it, though, because when this team, because this is when a team you're rebuilding from the ground up really kind of starts to take that form. And if you're excited for the next episode against Texas State, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that episode and the final ones of this season. I can't wait for the postseason and offseason. If you can't either, be sure to hit that like button to help push my video out to more people and try to build a community. I appreciate all the love. Take care, y'all. Peace.